of. We're live, we're live here at Spinning Around in the Baldwin Park Mall, and I've got four carts of boxes of Just Price Final Records, and they're awesome, and I can't wait to see what's in there. All right. Okay? All right. Okay. Well, yeah, I think uh, this has been a pretty good uh, thing so far. So far, so good. You know, we appreciate all the hearts, all the thumbs ups, all the shares on the videos. Mm -hmm. Yep, I heart you, please heart me too. Do a thumbs up, because when you give do good, you get good. Hello, Hayden. Patamil, hello. Can, can I start? You can start. Okay, woohoo. Thank you, Romania. Romania, you. that's awesome. Right? Hello, Vinyl Lunatic. We are okay. excellent, Eugene. Aliens. Okay. So we got lots of stuff coming out of all these boxes. That's right. I can't wait until I get a thousand subscribers on my channel. Yeah. So I can go so live. You can go live. That's right. <laughs> Ariana Grande, dangerous woman. Dangerous woman. First out of the boxes. First out of the box. And then we got Kanye, 808 and Heartbreak. 808 and, and Heartbreak. this is like a sandwich because then we got more Ariana Grande. I see how this is working. Yeah, but then there's more Ariana Grande. So and that box is awfully, awfully high. Yes, it really is. The jam in the middle stopped. So we have plenty of stuff coming out of these boxes. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of brand new Silvana records. And it's a little early, but we can keep our eyes out for Friday releases, even though it's a little early. I hear you. And you know what's coming out this week? What's Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Okay, more Ariana. More I took Ariana. the end of these ah. at one of the distributors. So hopefully, you know. And it's like messing with me because it's almost the same color as 808 and Heartbreak. Right. Yes, they are the standard black. Um, did you hear what happened to everybody? Were you in the back when Shona was telling them? With the Ariana Grande. Ooh, who's that girl? And it's the record store day one. Ooh. Ooh. I don't have a copy. Oh, boy. But did you hear what happened with the Ariana Grande variant that she put up on her own website and Snapchat? No, what happened? Well, Ariana Grande put up Dangerous Woman, okay. a, a special variant. Okay. It was black and purple swirl. That's awesome. Okay. But, you know, we couldn't get it in. Yeah. It was an exclusive. So everybody in the mama ordered this thing to the point where they're canceling orders now. Oh, okay. Instead of pressing more, they're canceling they're orders. They're just canceling the orders? Yes. But people ordered it because they wanted it. Darren, I think you're on the wrong channel then. He said today's music is garbage. Yep. So I think you're on the wrong channel. You're probably on the wrong channel. We've got the Smiths. That is the import for the Smiths. Most of these are available in store and online. But some of them still need to get listed. Yes. Yes, Lady Gaga fame is not available anymore. Avril Lavigne. We, we sold out. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully there's more in this unboxing. But we can't guarantee. Again, thank you for all the thumbs ups, especially on YouTube. Tom Petty, Echo. 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 And the hearts keep flowing on uh, TikTok. And That's we've... awesome. Greatly appreciate it if you shared the video as well, if you can. The more the merrier. Okay, finally she's gonna, be, caring. she's gonna be done with this big, huge box, finally. So she'll be on a decent level. And now I've got two freaking tripods in front of me, so I can't throw any boxes at you. Ha ha. I can see why you're hiding behind those tripods. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Um. More 808 and Heartbreak? Somebody had a very good question. Yes. About the Olivia Rodrigo coming out on Friday. Yes. You know, they sprung that up on everybody as a super surprise. Yes, we had no idea. And, you know, orders started coming in for it. And we were okay. And we couldn't originally send them over. It took a minute before we could send them over. So, I ordered in a truck ton of them. Yes. The fame is sold out for right now. Anyway. We don't know if they're going to be here by Friday or not because of how quickly they announced that. Yeah, because didn't they only give us like two weeks? No, 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 no. They gave us a week and change. A week and change because that's what I was like. Ten I, days tops. Yeah, I felt like it was like a week, but I think it was longer than a week. But, you know, everything kind of smushes together because we're always here. Yeah. Which is, you know, why the store is closed and we are live at 8.35 at night because, you know, we sleep here. 
<laughs> we have we have plenty of Harry's house. Yes, lots of Harry's house. Almost out of CDs. We're gonna have to order more CDs. CDs should be here today, tomorrow. There okay, might be soon. a miss. Soon. More Kanye West, 808 and Heartbreak. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Alan said he gave us a thumbs up. Oh, thank you, we Alan. Appreciate we do appreciate that. It. But you know, there's 50 people watching and there's only 12 thumbs ups. Come on, people. Where's my thumbs ups? Nobody's having fun? We got some serious hearts going on I'm in I'm sure uh, we do TikTok. have some serious hearts because, you know, the TikTok people seem to kick the YouTube people's butts as far as showing love. Listen, those Slipknots, you got to get in on the pre-orders for them. Yeah. If you don't got those pre-orders, they're done already. And really fast, too, because, like, the Lizzo pre-order for, what, July? Yeah. Yeah, it, or not Lizzo. Um, Doja Cat Doja for Cat Friday. Doja Cat for Friday. Is already unavailable. So I think that means that they're going to be allocated, and they're done. Well, you know, for right I, now. I could pull in an extra hundred, but I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's risky business when you're pulling in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of copies of things. Oh, somebody sent you a beautiful heart spinny oh. thing, and she doesn't have her thing. I don't have a thing, but thank you. I do appreciate it. Yes, we only have this phone, because uh, Silly Mace told Shauna she could go home. Uh-huh. Instead of keeping her here just to use her phone. Where the hell is my phone? <laughs> it's right there. Yes. Actually, that's yours. That's mine. I know. That's why I said it's uh -huh. right there. You guys are on my phone. We don't have Taylor Swift's reputation. I wish we did. That'd be awesome. I, I, if anything, it'll be in the in the very last boxes that we're going to unbox. It would be the only place it could possibly be. Ooh, we got Madonna Ray of Light. But I highly doubt it's there. I haven't seen anything about reputation. Well, you know, we just got 1989 in. Mm-hmm. Grimes. Grimes. I gotta say, I appreciate Grams' music a little bit more now. Mac DeMarco. Mac DeMarco. Rock and Roll Nightclub. You know how long it's been since I've seen that one? Um, a year. Yeah. Two. A while. A very long while. More Grimes. Of course, there's only one copy. 808 Heartbreak. I missed the question. Somebody said if they pre-order, will you get it from us eventually? It depends on what you're pre-ordering. If we're talking about Slipknots, then I'm pretty sure because that's why they're allocating them. is because of all the pre-orders going through for those things. Mm -hmm. You just don't realize it. If, if you guys want something and you know it's coming out and you know it's going to be hard to get and it says limited edition, pre-order it. Yeah, because not everything's going to be like Tool, uh, Lateris, that we could get forever. And Billy Eilish, don't smile at me, that we could get forever. Oh, yeah, no, no, we're, we're not done. We have so many boxes here. There's three more cards. We just did it this way. This way, she could back it up, and I can move the tripods forward for the next ones. What is it? I don't know what that one is. I can see it to this one, though. What is it? There's no top on it. It's Deadpool! What? Pride Deadpool! Pride Deadpool. Very, very cool. You gotta cool. walk that up. That's so freaking awesome. And he's laying down... Nice. Pride Deadpool. I love the I love Deadpool. He's just funny. And tragic. Huh. Funny. Yeah, he's tragic, but he's funny. Okay, Okay, somebody's asking you your thoughts on how I'm feeling now by Charlie XCX. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was not nearly as polished. Listen, I'm crash, but it was really good. I liked everything but the very first song. Star Wars Stormtrooper for Pride. Very cool. Yes, we should be getting the indie variant for Sour. So we got Stormtrooper Pride, which is awesome. We could put it right, right in here. Right in here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got these. Okay. Baby. You just take the thing and I'll go, boom. Okay, because I moved the other ones over there, the dead bulls. Oh, okay, I see what you did. That's fine. Because I just wasn't sure what to do. Yeah, and that yeah, one yeah. was open, so it was real easy. Yeah. 
We don't have the after school EP by Melanie Martinez anymore. We're waiting for a restock on those. And we are keeping our fingers crossed that it will be soon. Huh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a restock on K through 12. 808 heartbreak. Well, that's awful. But that Iowa pre-order, pre-order the the last two Slipknots coming out. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna want to get them, yes, we have College Dropout by Kanye. It's on the super sales page right now. The price did go up on it a little bit, but we didn't put our price up yet. Not yet. So if you buy it very soon, before I have to restock it, you'll get it for the discounted price. I'll back this up so you guys could see a little bit better. Well, that's, that's why we got this Kanye. This Kanye took a long time to get in as well. And he just kept hitting the button, which is why I keep having boxes full of it. You know, we are, we are attempting to, uh, I'm backed up. I am completely backed up. So backed up. I have about 16 full boxes to get listed, to bring into the store even. And some days I, I cheat because, and I just go through the boxes and put them out into the store. Because then it's a little faster. We haven't gotten the plan of her yet. It should be here uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. There's some other really good releases coming out this week too, but I'm having drawing a blank. Man. This is a lot of Kanye. You got a lot of Kanye. You just kept hitting that button, huh? Oh, I see something different. I spy something different. I'm a button pusher. Uh -huh. George Jetson. We sell 10 tons of used items, but we do not sell them online. We have another Tom Petty Echo. Echo. And You're then we back. have Grimes. Oh, good. I think that's the one we ran out of today. I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure it is as well. So very, very cool. <sighs> Lie. Frustration free. Mm -hmm. It should just be a little tap to pull. Oh, okay, that's not bad. See? Ariana Grande, <laughs> Dangerous Woman. Madonna. Madonna. Record that, Store Day Madonna. That's the Record Store Day 2020. Oh, special announcement. Anything that we still have in stock for Record Store Day is now on sale on our website. Yes. Under the Record Store Day 2020 tab. It's, it's online only. Some of the prices are rock freaking bottom. Like if you're looking for Judas Priest or uh, Alice Cooper, I don't even make a dollar on it. That's how low I went to try to move some of the product. Because we do have another drop coming up. Do you want my help? I have an issue. What? Back it up. Oh. I just got a Charlie Horse of my toe. Here, here, we'll block it. Nobody will see you get naked. I mean, barefoot. I can't even get my shoe off. Here, I, I'm not gonna move the tripod towards you. Would I do that? Uh oh, somebody's hurting. Man down. It's always man down. in my index toe. Oh man, it's over. I don't know what happens. But That's the Charlie XCX horse. Somehow I get a Charlie horse in my index toe. That's okay, they can only see you clear as day on uh, YouTube. <laughs> So and you still only got 36 likes over here. Oh, I know, and they're like, why should be bent in half trying oh, to terrible. rub out a freaking Charlie right. horse in my foot? I'm going to move everybody forward. It's like nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. Guess I'll eat some worms. Mr. James Sharp, I hope everything is going well for you in life, buddy. Yes, we really do. We, we hope everything is going good and you're getting good news. Yes, we want good news for you. We want only good news for you. You know, I'm a very private person, so I don't want to put it out there, but... We, we've been thinking about you. Yes. We definitely have. If I had them, I would sell them. I don't have K-12 or after-school EP. Hello, Fernando! Uh-oh. What is it? Late registration.
generation. Now, this sucker went up in price a little bit. Yes, just get a them, little bit. Get them while they're hot. I am getting so pissed off. What? So pissed off lately. Oh, this is going up $10. They're full of shit. They're, I, I have the spreadsheets. It's not going up $10. Um, I just want to say one thing, and I'm going to put it out there publicly, but I'm not going to bash anybody. Be careful who you get your information from. Because I've seen people, one individual put a video out. He jumped the gun and put it out way too early. I don't know if he has the same lists we have or the same information that we have about the 2,500 items that got the prices raised at Universal. But what he doesn't realize and what most of the people that followed him don't realize is that Warner and Sony, which are the other two big ones, already had their price increase. Yeah, they already raised their prices like October, November. Harry's house is not universal. No. And look how much you're paying for that sucker. Yeah, that's a one LP. So if you if you think, oh, it's the end of the world, this guy wanted to cause mass panic. Mm -hmm. That was his thing. Mm -hmm. He was fear mongering on everybody's emotions. Knowing that the economy sort of sucks, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not getting into all of this. But what he said is not truthful as far as most record stores. And the prices are not going up that astronomically. There are a couple, Lana Del Rey Paradise, because it's an EP, it was what, $13.98, $14.98, $15.98, $15 something like that. Now it's going up to $21.98. That's like the biggest pr price increase that I have seen. Listen. Most of the things are going up 2 to $5. If I put the guy's name out there and I made a response video, I would crush him. But and here's the problem. I would be making a mountain out of a, out of a molehill. Like he's doing, and that's not what we want to do. We don't want to bring any more attention to him, but we want to let you guys know. He's full of shit. Things are not going up $10, $15. Like me, he said. Let me tell you. So don't don't get all, oh my God, Beatles are now going to be $50 because they're not. We actually have the Universal account. You guys have all seen us unbox Universal product. We've got Tyler the Creator, Igor. But there, there's a lot of people that made videos based off of his information. And his information's wrong. It was completely wrong. So and it was wrong. too fast put out. And that's why I, I've, I made a couple of comments, but, but I'm refraining myself because honestly... I don't go negative. Yeah, That's not our style. On the positive. But this guy's fear-mongering to get people to buy more. And it's don't not the way it should it. be, yeah. Eminem. Well, there's nothing I can do about your Canadian currency. Well, is, the, is, is it down now? I mean, with the amount of U.S. money that they've pressed... Compared to U.S. money, Canadian money should be awesome. See, that's that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand either. If if, if you want to talk about inflation, I got a real. What, what you got there? I got them. Them. With Gloria. What? Yes. But I got one real quick thing to say about inflation, and then I'll get completely off the subject. Just hold on for one minute, Mama. I'm sorry. I'm getting. You know who that is, I'm right? Excited. I know that's the good stuff, but. What you guys don't realize about inflation, and I'm sorry to talk about economics and all this other crap. There was $15 trillion in the world. Mm -hmm. Within two years, the U.S. pressed $6 trillion more dollars, which is 40% more money. So if you guys didn't realize that prices were going to go up, that's, that's a happens. hell of a lot of money they pressed within two years. That's what happens. So for the amount that they're raising it, I don't know if it's even caught up yet, mm -hmm. but that's just my take on it. It's what I'm telling you is the truth. Mm -hmm. And let's get off this subject because I don't really like to go negative. But I just want to make sure you I guys smiles. aren't running out, buying things, thinking that you're going to get screwed in 10 days because it's not going to be, it's not as bad as he made it out to be. So mm -hmm. I just want to ease your mind. Universal already raised those prices. Yes. It, it got raised uh, Sunday night. Mm-hmm. And I know this because I was on Universal site when it got raised. Mm -hmm. And it was down for like, oh, 10 seconds. But, <laughs> Unlike everywhere else. Yeah, pr pretty much. They, they change prices anywhere else and, you know, you're down for hours. Now, Zappa Records did go up 
Mr. James. They did go up two or three dollars. Mm -hmm. I didn't see the box set. I, I didn't look that up. But again, and it's it, inflation. It wasn't every title either. No, some they of them us, went down. They sent us a list of twenty four hundred titles. Yeah, Lana Del Rey. Um, honeymoon. Honeymoon. Um, when they let us all have it again, it's going to be down a dollar from what it was. There you go. So not everything went up. Some stuff came down. Some stuff stayed the same. But yes, it's it's bad. But it's not bad like everybody's sitting there saying it's it's the it's the end of the vinyl era. It's not. It's not even close. But then it does make sense because Nicki Minaj is a universal artist, so it does make sense. Why I was like, why, why is Beam Me Up Scotty so expensive? Well, now it makes sense because they knew they were doing this increase. Yes, Honeymoon is going to eventually come back because it was still on the list. Just like Lady Gaga, the fame just came back. Mm -hmm. And that hasn't been in stock in a long time. And just like ultra violence, yes, you can open okay, that. Okay, okay, yes. I'm like, I'm I sorry. got Mariah Carey! I'm so excited. She's so pretty, char bracelet. I love it. I'm sorry, I got so excited. Listen, you know nothing Zappa's gonna be cheap. <laughs> Me, I am Mariah! Very cool. And we got Orville Peck Bronco. Do you know this is really weird? What? It is so silent. The, the store, right? The store. And, you know, normally when we're in the back room unboxing, I can hear the music out here. But, you know, it's muffled. Toto! Yeah, I just brought in a few of those. The fifth album from Toto. Isolation. Panic at the Disco. Yeah, no, that phone's going off. Who's ever funny and cool and doing our live? Not even getting answered. Yeah, it's just going to be off the hook. Okay. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm having a hard time today with the scissors over on this side. I put my computer way too far away from me, so I have no idea if you guys are asking anything. Oh, Def Leppard! Diamond Star Halos! What? Made in the Netherlands. Netherlands? Netherlands. The big white round sticker. Oh, it's Otis Redding, the best of Otis Redding. I can't believe how many copies of this Otis Redding we've sold. I know, it's crazy. But, you know, it was a start your ear off, right? So I don't know how many more we're uh, going to have. I hear that you. Was, that was January, right? Yes. So, oh, White Stripes Greatest Hits. But I, I did not expect to sell as many Otis Redding copies as we have. Santana, Blessings and Miracles. I believe that comes out Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. With Rob Thomas and Chris Stapleton and G-Eazy -E and Steve Winwood and Kurt Cambit and more. We want more, more, more. That's so cool. Chick Corea. Ooh. Okay. Now, now, now you got a right to... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And we've got the wall. Bust his chops a bit. Yeah, how come he's not on there? Right. Oh, we got more Toto. The seventh album. The seventh right. one. Underrated as hell. The sixth album from Toto. Telling you, I took in a little bit of a little bit. The third album from Toto. <laughs> the second album from Toto. No, we don't have any Selena Q. Still the third album? Yes, the Kanye is the trifold. Still the third album? Still the third album? Right. It's like turn back. If I could turn back time. Now listen, all these should be up tomorrow or the next day. You gotta give me some time. I am back up i am backed up beyond belief i took yesterday off because it was a concert for my son and we I'm took back. half a sunday off because yeah. i didn't feel like leaving the house so i am back what are you looking at there it's the first standalone release on vinyl features unheard backing tracks toto old is new yes interesting 
Rosanna. It's not on any of those. No. Neither is Africa. Nope. Wait, you know how to move it all? Like so? No, no, uh, it was my son's uh, for school. Yeah, he plays the trombone. My next concert I'm going to is Poison. For a music fest, it's going to be excellent. We got VIP passes without paying VIP prices. <laughs> so you'll be right by Rob, instead you won't have paid nearly as much as Rob. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> we got two different pops from The Witcher. The Witcher? Ooh, one's yeah. a, a Cer limited chase. Cersei and Geralt? Heck no, what supplies last? Huh. I wonder, oh, you know what? It's the veins around the eyes. Huh. Yeah, I'll put them yeah, up. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know where to yeah. put these now because I'm moving down, filling up my bins. I left my computer all the way over there. Do you, need, do you want it down there? No, because... put it right on the edge of the cart. I promise you it'll fall over sooner or later. I know, exactly. You're going to love it. And then, you know, my red computer, that doesn't freaking work. There you go. And that one's newer than this one is. And I'm like, why the heck are you so darn slow? Hey, James, you don't have that Zappa pop? I can hook you up. We got Paradise, Lana Del Rey Paradise. There's not just Lana Del Rey Paradise. There is holy cow amounts of Lana Del Rey Paradise well, coming you, out. You have to get a holy. Now listen, I got it at the old price. Woohoo! Because we're smart. We, we bought what we could at the old price of Lana's. Because we're not crazy. James said not yet. Exactly, James, not yet. But, but we have 72 of them. Yeah, we have so many of them, James. I think we should just send one to James. I'm like, and we, and we know James's address. We do. We do. We know where you, no, I, I think it's a P.O. box. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. But we still know the we state. Know. We know the state We and totally just send it. Planet Heart has, has not been in these boxes yet. Not yet. We are still hunting. We just brought out gangster amounts of paradise. Whoa, that's a lot. Oop, they can't even see in that box. No. No, no, we wouldn't sell it to you, Mr. James. We're just going to ship it to you. Uh-huh. We, we, we don't sell pops online. The shipping is, like, super expensive. Because you have to send them first class because you know they're not a needy item. What is it? Oh, it's more yee. <laughs> College dropout. This one was late registration, right? Yep. You got late oh registration. God. You got 808s and heartbreaks. Did hell freeze over? What do you mean? We got three Kanye's at the same time? Well, where's beauty behind, beyond the madness? Madness. That's the weekend. Yeah, that one too. My friend, the red one, man. Where's the red Kanye yeah, yeah. at? My beautiful, dark, oh, my twisted beautiful, fantasy. Oh, dark, twisted fantasy. There you go. Oh, you were... Good night. Good night. You were thinking about another one that doesn't, you know, quite fit right in a mailer. Yeah, I'm so worried about the laptop, too. <laughs> I know. That's why I moved it, because I was like, I don't like this. Come on, it's epic. We don't know if that Caliuchis will be uh, launching. Yeah, we're we're still getting conflicting information from the different distributors. So we are waiting to see what happens once it gets closer. I'm get, I'm guessing they'll let us know. But since before April, it said in our back notes that the Caliuchis was canceled. But then one of the distributors mentioned it, and the other one didn't. So. I don't know if it's one of those wars they're playing where they're, you know, like, oh, this is my exclusive and this is my exclusive and buy this here and you can only buy this here. And if you don't have a canal with us, you can't buy it here. Yeah, no, I mean. They're at war. They're, they're at war, but they're playing together as well. Yes. They really are. I, I'm, I'm not going to get into it because it's politics and it's beyond me. And these guys are playing for millions, so I'm just a little... Uh, Small guy in a big ass lake. <laughs> you know. <laughs> We're a tiny, tiny Nemo in a big ocean. Yes, I'm definitely a tiny Nemo. <laughs> 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 
move it on up. And nothing happened to the laptop. She was just concerned that everybody else was too, that that sucker was just going to fall down. Yeah, because you know, it's got those little like bumper things on the bottom. And I was, I was like, oh, is it going to fall? Because it's not quite flat. She can read the YouTube comments. I'm reading the TikTok comments. Christina Aguilera, finally. I'm a genie in a bottle. Picture disc. That's what? the very first song. Because that's what it's like. We've got two different Britney ones. Where's the Christina? I am so excited. That's so cool. Please keep hitting the heart buttons, guys. And you have 104 people on YouTube and 59. 100. So, so that means 41 plus 3. 44 people are not having fun watching me unbox stuff and trying not to cut myself because I am the scissor ninja. Come on, guys. When I do this, I'm giving you a thumbs up because when you do good, you get good. Yeah, we need so thumbs up. So why can't ups. I have a thumbs up back? We want some. Oh. Yeah, I heart you. Please heart me, too. I'm waiting for that last cart. That last cart's going to be interesting. Oh! See ya. See ya. This is music? This is acting. We have Dawn FM. It's on our Super Sales page. And he looks old. They did good with that cover. Ooh, lots of see ya. Couple cool. see ya's. And then we have more college dropout. Do we have Lord? I don't think we have any Lord right now. No, CDs? The, yeah, we have CDs. Uh, the last copy of Solar Power that I had in the L section that I would pull it out and giggle, somebody bought it. I guess I said it too many times about how there was one in there. Someone finally grabbed it and bought it. Somebody wants to know, out of curiosity, what percentage of, oh man, I missed the question. What percentage of new records get returned? Due to scratches or warped records? Honestly, not that many. No, not that many. We have more that get returned because there wasn't enough quality control with two LPs that they got two of the first LP or two of the second LP that we do because yes. of, of quality issues like that. We've, we, th there was one record we shipped out a truck ton of. And I have no idea where all the CD sides were because I didn't get any. Yeah, of no, they returned every freaking copy was wrong. System of a Down toxicity. Wake up. But yeah, it was it was crazy. It's like so. Where's the CD sides? They, you know, if you print thirteen thousand AB sides and ten thousand CD sides, don't you realize there's a problem? Oh, oh, more Kanye West. So you know, th that's that's the real problem that we have was when something like that happens. And and I've had a couple other ones that were returned because there was the wrong record in there. Like uh, they got a Led Zeppelin um, self-titled and Led Zeppelin untitled confused. So now, basically four was in one. We do a lot of returns if the box is still mangled. Yes. And up next after after this particular. Uh, Cart is done. She has one more giant cart. Yes. And those boxes all came mangled. Yeah, a bunch of them came pretty damn mangled. So some of this stuff may not ever make it to the store, and it may go right back to them. If I can ever get return loads. <sighs> what is it? It is Pink Floyd, Dark right. Side of the Moon. So the other day when we played hooky, we watched the Doors movie. Uh-huh. She... She was so much crazier than they make her out to be. So much crazier. Oh, Grimes, Visions. There you go. Let me tell you, if you don't know who Grimes is, ooh la la la. It's been a <laughs> long time since we had the Fugees. That's right. Yeah, Grimes, though, is epic. You got to check out Grimes. If, if you, even, even you older fellas, you got to check out Grimes. I think you'd enjoy her. She's a, she's a crazy, like, emo, mm -hmm. not emo, um, anime. Anime. Looking person, but she's okay. Like a virgin. Hey! By now, Madonna's heard that song so many times, she's gotten to the point where she hates it. I'm sure. Oh, Black Sabbath! Mob Rules. It's an interesting album. And I love the back cover. My Chemical Romance. There you go. The Black Parade is dead. Anybody listen to uh, My Chemical Romance's new song? Tell me your thoughts and feelings. Yes, because some people loved it. See? 
Teresa said, love the Fujis and Grimes. Woohoo! That's because you rock, Teresa. That's right. Teresa's we, been with us for a long time. We know you have excellent taste in music. Excellent taste. Okay, somebody said the new MCR is great. Very cool. I know Rihanna seemed a little disappointed. You know, I don't understand Rihanna and, and, and why she was disappointed in that. I actually enjoyed it. I've listened to every single thing my chemical romance has ever put out because my daughter a, was a fanatic for a long time. A very long time. So we've listened to it. And the new song went right along. Like, he didn't miss a beat. And she was like... It sucked. I don't know why people love it. And I'm like, Rihanna, what are you kidding me? M maybe it just wasn't what she was, exp she wanted them to move on, I think. Maybe do a little bit edgier or tougher sound. I think she's just pissed off that I think Charlie Bruno does a better version of Teenagers. Mm. If you don't know Floor Space, and he was in the group uh, Refuse, to Co Refuse the Conformity, he, he did a great cover song. Of teenagers on you on YouTube movement outgrown things 10 inch somebody yes. ordered it 10,000 copies on beer colored vinyl beer colored vinyl how can they say that because there's so many different colors when it comes to beer I don't know you know like I'm what's thinking... it showing does it have a picture of the I guess I guess they're calling it mustard <laughs> it's only a thousand copies it looks like pee? It looks like pee. I don't drink pee. That is the color of pee. And we've got more Lana Del Rey Paradise. Of course. Because you are so smart. Interesting story about Lana. And uh, I, was, I was telling my wife, now I'm not going to go through the story because it's too no. brutal yes. for on here. Yes. But uh, I was telling the story about Cola. Mm -hmm. For those of you that, that, that know Lana, you understand what I'm saying. And there's a huge story behind that. And she wasn't aware. She loved the song, but she wasn't aware of the uh, 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 story behind it. The story behind it. And we're not going to get into it. No. Hell of an album, though. Man, uh, you are so smart. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, what does the hype sticker on Paradise have? Is there a hype sticker on it? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me see. It's upside down. Well, this one, if you could read upside down, because, you know, it'd be too difficult for me to flip. I'm just kidding. Huh. This is double album, which is baloney. Includes the singles. It doesn't include the singles. That's a little weird. Do you think that's what the new one's going to be? Do you think that's why they're raising the price? Check this, check this typo out. I wonder if that's why they're raising the price. That's that's a mistake on their part because it says includes Born to Die and it doesn't. It definitely does not. Hmm. Yes, we have Chromatica, Dawn of Chromatica, the Clear Chromatica. We got lots of different Chromaticas. Mm -hmm. But that's interesting on the uh, Paradise. Good. Thanks for pointing that out. No, we don't have SZA quality co or, or control. We have SZA the 10 inch for good, good days. days. Olivia Newton-John, let's get physical. physical. Physical, I wanna get physical. Let me hear your body talk. Body talk, let me hear your body Yes, there, there, there is a, a, a double LP. But uh, it comes with a box, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's like you have to put your copy of Paradise inside the box with the bonus tracks. Yeah, it's it's a really and it's weird. it's like forty something dollars just for the box. For Pretty a box board to die. and like six or eight songs. So it's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. Harry Styles, Harry Styles. Ooh. And then Harry's house. We needed more of those Harry house now. We sold out of the CD, mm -hmm. or there's one left, one of the two, because I know I know this today there was like nothing in there, so I'm glad that these finally came in. We got more Harry's house. So we will have the CD, which is nice. 
because we do have a big, beautiful display. Yes, we do. If you haven't seen that TikTok yet, I don't know what to tell you. And more hair is out. Uh, somebody said they got Casey Musgraves star crossed, but which version? Yeah. Which variant? Because there's three variant? different variants. And then there's also the uh, Record Store Day picture disc. So we've got the Beatles blue. Cool. And... Oh, back this up so you guys can see. System of a Down, mesmerized. Right. Good. I'm glad these are back in stock finally. That's what I'm looking at the back cover. I'm like, I know, I know you. What are you? No, who's playing Weird Al in the biopic, James? I'm, I'm very curious because I seen something and I don't think it came or came true, but I'm very curious if you happen to know. Merciful Fate. That comes out on Friday. Ooh. Is it a limited? Yellow with black streaks. Okay. This, if, if you're into heavy metal, then you better know who Merciful Fate is and you better know Melissa. It's on Metal Blade, which is very, very, very cool. You made sure you had a lot of it. We, no. What? You know what he just said, James? No way. Yeah. Nuh uh. Whoa. Nuh uh. Not Daniel Radcliffe. What? Harry Potter? I don't know. You know what that is. I thought I knew what that was. You know what that is. What anybody is else that? know what that is? What's this? Does anybody know what this is? I don't know. I mean, I was not expecting this in this. Does anyone know what this is? What? Okay. See? Now if they're ordered, we can ship them. Woohoo! You know, all the pre-orders get pushed over. But when we have them in stock, we ship ours. This way, we know we ship better, but you don't know if we're ever if we're gonna get as many as we order. Yes, because they've screwed us a number of times. Yes. So we gotta see how many is actually here. But I was not, that's pretty freaking cool. So far it looks like six. There's more. We want Seven. more, more, more. I did order more. Well, I wonder. What's in here? Well, Patamil, it, it will be once I put my quantity in. They shut their end off. But I didn't shut my end off. I just I just never turned it on. So I'm very excited. Thank you, Kate Bush. I love saying your name. You're multi-talented. <laughs> I got more. I got more. I was not expecting this today. Not that at all. So That's why awesome. we were like, oh, Wednesday, Thursday. Because they've been very slow with us lately. But this distributor, I've been picking on them a little bit. And I'm like, oh, well, that's okay, because I already have. They're like, oh, you'll have that Friday release on Monday, you know, for like the past Friday. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. I got some from the other guys. And they're like, what? So now somebody wants to know, is there a gatefold? Yes, there is. I can yes, see it already. Yes, there is a gatefold. We, we will do an opening maybe tomorrow because by the time I clean up and everything, it's going to be really late here. Merciful Fate. And That's, this is another colored variant. Yep, comes out Friday. Yellow and red marbled, which I don't know if I like the idea of that, but I guess we'll see. Yellow and red marbled. Oh, yeah. Metal blade. Yeah. Yes, it is unavailable. They sold out for now. We are expecting more, though, of the fame. A Lady Gaga. If you want, just turn it and be careful. I'm like, I just can't. I can't get that last copy out. But yes, I, I, I was not expecting to get Doja Cat today. And that's a Friday release, so it will not be available in the store. But we will ship them out. Now, now is for the holy cow cart. This is going to take her a little bit of time. Do you want my help? Yeah, I, I'm not moving that. Okay. This is going to take her a little bit of time because we have to piece count a little bit on these. Because we haven't been getting worse. No, we haven't. The, we were getting royally screwed on these. So just read the labels, figure it out. Okay. Do you want another cart to go off of? That is a good idea. All of a sudden, I'm like, why did I push all my carts over? No problem. 
See, she'll keep me around for a little bit longer. I came up with a solid idea. This feels like it's a box in a box. Box in a box in a box. Yeah, because it feels like the top part is empty. And I don't know why they do this, but that is their prerogative. It's a box inside of a box. And both of them are taped, just like our stuff. Under pressure. And there's a box inside a box, and it's got that big tape. Woohoo! What is it? Lady Gaga, the fiend. Back in stock sooner or later. I know. Listen, some of these got to make it in store. Oh, you got a paper origami uh, crane. Oh, cool. Thank you, Kate Bush. Any Miley Cyrus, we have plastic carts. Yes. Available uh, in store and online. It's on the super sales page. Do you want me to unpack these or? Well, you don't necessarily have to unpack okay. them because I'm just gonna, you know what? You do the next box and I'm gonna list these right now. Okay. Because so, I, I wanted to make sure there were actually 10 in there like it said there were supposed to be. Anybody who wants Lady Gaga the frame, they're getting listed right now. They're not going on the super sales page though, because this is day one of having them. So if you want it, get it ready, put it on your wish list because it's not going to show up. Put it on your wish list and buy it from there. You have to register on the account. You register on the website. Yeah, you explain it, I'm gonna go list them. You register on our website with an email address that you use and then you make sure your notifications are turned on. It's in the newsletter to make sure that your notifications are turned on. So you go on there, you register for a website, you make a wish list, make sure your notifications are on, and then when stuff on your wish list gets listed, is available, it will, you can buy it right from your wish list, which cuts out like the 15 minutes of waiting for it to bounce all the way to California and bounce back here. So that's pretty good. It's all what happened. That didn't work. That tape just ripped completely. So. They're heavy. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Now this is ooh. Greta Van Fleet, Battle at Gardens Gate, on the seafoam cream tie dye, whatever you want to say. Those that we are supposed to have. They are up. Awesome. I don't know. 15 Greta Van Fleet, Seafoam Green. I just relisted those today. So if you're looking for the Seafoam Green, Greta Van Fleet, there it is. Yes, we have Black Pink. Uh, is it Black Pink, Black Pink? Yes. Yeah. No, Black Pink, the album. The album. The album. The album. Okay, now I'm supposed to have 12 in here. No, we, we really don't live here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just making a joke and I was like, yeah, we sleep here. I mean, we're here. We're here quite a bit. But uh, we don't come in until later much. Uh, I think we just sold out of the Moto Mommy, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, earlier today. We sold our very last one. Rosalia is gone. So we've got the Beatles revolver. Now listen, on to what I was saying before. This guy was telling you this album is $35. It's not $35. Just so you know, I, th I believe it's twenty nine ninety five. That is the new price, or ninety eight, or whatever it is. We got a we, we got a few Nas records. Okay. And um, the previous price was twenty five ninety eight. Okay. So that's a four question. Five. How much do you pay for these records? It depends which it ones. It depends on which ones and where we get them from. 
Whoa, whoa, best Beatles album. I don't know about that. Revolver? I think it's the best Beatles album. I don't know about that. Yeah, what do you think the best Beatles album is? I don't know. The greatest hits. There's, you don't know how many freaking all of them. Comp compilations there are? <laughs> I'm just of hits. Child. No, we don't have the Shakira MTV Unplugged. Only, only one that I know of, that I'm aware of, Luke's Vinyl, went up close to $10. And that is late registration. But I have so many copies of that right now, it's going to be a long time. We got another Beatles revolver. I have uh, Ready to Die on the Super Sales page. I have one copy left. It already happened. The, the UMG increase already happened. Yeah, it's, it's happened. It's there. It's there now. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's sitting there going, what was me? What was me? Yes, some prices are going to get raised, but you're not even going to notice them. The, the, the guy was fear-mongering. They're not getting raised nearly as high as he claimed. So, unless, you know. Alec, it depends if, when they're in stock. Okay. And we've got more Beatles Revolver. Just saying. Yes, we kept hitting the button on this one, too. Oh, good. Pat Emil got the fame. Oh, good. Very cool. See, I... You don't wait for the wish, wish list email. You put it on the wish list and you buy it right from there. And I don't know if it's still available because I'm out here now. I'm not in the back. I know if Pat Emil got it, it's available. It's available. Well, and he's pretty quick. And I know there's some people that are super <laughs> quick. Super quick. So, I mean. You know, Pat Emil got beat out before, so he knows. He has how gotten to beat. Be, he knows how <laughs> to be quick. Yeah, no, we're not, we're not sitting a baloney in here about the wish list. Kendrick Lamar, Pink to a Butter. Pimp to a butterfly. Very cool. I was waiting for those to come back in. Do we know how many we're supposed to have on that? Twelve. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you guys don't want to hang around for the counting and everything, I don't know what to tell you. Well, we're good. It's all there? We're good on that one. But we, we, we've been taking a major loss on some of these. I They've mean, been falling out of the boxes in the UPS truck. I didn't know tape was that expensive. So this is why we're, we're taking our time with, with just this cart. We have to. We're not about losing money. We're I about mean, giving you the best deals we possibly can. Come on, guys. Look yeah. At I mean, the, the boxes are tore up from the floor up. I mean, it's it's quite terrible. I wish, I wish you guys could actually like see the. And they seriously used. That was all it took, to open that. Okay. It's kind of nuts. To be twelve in here. J Cole. You yes, asking me? J Cole. Yeah. One. Oh, Queens of the Stone Age. We just sold that. Very cool. Back in stock. Yep. Next. Yes, the fame I believe is on black vinyl. She hasn't opened her copy yet, so we're not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure by now, it's sold out. I mean, it goes bang, bang. And I mean, people on TikTok are like really on it. Another Queens of the Stone Age. Seven. Yes, it's $29.99 for the fame. Or $29.98, something Nine. like that. Oh, no. Padamil says it's still available. Eleven. And then we've got a CD. Queen's Greatest Hits, Volumes 1 and 2. Yeah, cool. one and two. So that makes 12. Okay, so we're good there. Because, <clears throat> of course... Don't forget to hit the thumbs-ups, the like buttons, share the video. We appreciate it all. I mean, this is what we do for a living. See, I don't, I don't necessarily think UPS delivered my package to the wrong address today. What? Yeah, that's happened with us. Um, we tend to get other people's packages, so then I gotta go down the street and deliver them myself. We do have Kate Bush, somebody asked. How, 
Hounds of Love, right? Yeah, we have Hounds of Love for sure. We, we might also have a picture disc, but don't quote me on that just yet. Hi, Rihanna. Rihanna's on, in the live. What'd you make for dinner? Yeah, what'd you make for dinner? Let us know. 23. 23 in that box? 23. This is an awful big box for 23. Maybe it's 23. Good stuff. Well, <laughs> they're taking these boxes and putting them inside this box, so. They're trying. Maybe they're getting tired of me complaining. Maybe. Uh, somebody said Italian sausage and stuffed raviolis. What? Junior wouldn't eat that. There's no way that was Rihanna that said that. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was somebody else. It wasn't oh, okay. our kid. <laughs> Sounds really good, though. Right. But half my house wouldn't eat it. We do have the Forrest Gump soundtrack. Yes. And, and Jenny is like a hero. Jenny is the biggest villain on the face of this freaking earth. Jenny's a bitch. Wow. Okay, so we've got Kendrick Lamar, good kid. Okay. Good kid. Where's Dam? Four, five. Ooh, very, very nice. Put Parmesan cheese and sauce on it. Nice. Very, very cool. I see the heart still floating. You got 80 thumbs ups over here. That's that's way better than normal. I don't know how much the average record of the shop is. I need help. Okay. I can't get it out. Yeah, that was basically it. Oh. Okay, thanks. No problem. See, I'm okay. good for something. Five. Boom. The tape just, whoop, no more tape. How many did you have over there? Do you remember? Five. Okay. Six. More kinds of Lamar. Seven. <laughs> Hulk angry. Eight. <laughs> Nine. Listen, my, it's funny. My, my favorite comic book I ever owned. Eleven. Is She-Hulk. And the reason why is because I couldn't afford the Hulk comics. Thirteen. So I used to buy the She-Hulk comics. Because they were always in the bargain bin. 15, 16, so I still have She Hulk number one, number two, 17, number three, number four. I have, the, I have the full run of the first series. 18. It's probably 19, the only comic book I own. That and the 20, Batman things. 21, 22, 23. Uh, it was all there. All there. All right. I, well, the way that box was, I was pretty sure we were going to have them all. We got stiffed on a bunch of uh, Greta Van Fleets, so we're making sure everything is where it needs to be at this point. So far, we have 15. 15 what? Greta Van Fleets. Okay. Because I'm like, we're supposed to have a lot. We're supposed to have almost a lot. Okay, now, okay, guys. I don't know if you could see these boxes, but these boxes are literally tore up. Okay. And they're bad. So, I mean, they got retaped, re resealed, and this is all done by the UPS guy because it bounced around his truck. So, we're very uh, upset about this. We are very apprehensive about what is in here and the condition it's going to be in. And, of course, yeah, there's supposed to be 11. Oh, look at that. Those going back? Yeah, that one's going back. Yeah, see, we won't sell things like this. Three. You can't. Nobody wants it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. It's there. There's two more? Okay. Oh, yeah. Ten, eleven. We'll, we'll evaluate that later. Okay. So... Need this. Here, why don't we put the whole thing over here? You don't even need to put it in there because okay. we'll, we'll take a look at all the corners and everything. Okay. We'll just we'll just do that off camera because yep. you yes. know. And yeah, so see this one too. It was repackaged, retaped. There's supposed to be four in here. Let's see. So when things come like this, we don't like to ship them out. 
we don't know what happens to the returns. We either A, return, or B, we have to destroy them. One of the two, whichever one they tell us to do. Most of the time, they want us to return them. Right? James said, send them to Walmart. <laughs> do you know how many times... James, you, you've watched our videos for long enough. You've seen us get Walmart exclusives and Target exclusives and stuff we're not supposed to get. I mean, these things happen. Okay, we have four. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Freaky Styly. Freaky Styly. Anybody a Red Hot Chili Peppers fan here understand what that is? That is one of the hardest records to get for Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's an older one. Do you know who it's produced by? Who? George Clinton. Really? Can't you tell from that cover and the back cover? Right in the middle. Produced hey. by George Clinton. George Clinton. It's funk metal. Look at that. Where? Right in the middle. I see it. Okay. Crazy, that is right? interesting, yes. And very, then you're like, cool. oh my God, Flea's wearing all sorts of different clothes. Why was he even wearing clothes? Their names on the back are Home Squeeze, Holmes, Homey, and Homeboy. <laughs> very cool. That's awesome. Okay, so that one's okay, even if the box came like crap. Good. So, that's good to know. Heck yeah. Okay. All right, last. This one's not too bad. Last record box, and then we got a couple of a CD boxes. And there's only on. supposed to be two in here. All right, so so with two, let's hope you know everything's okay. And it is pimp to a butterfly. Oh, very very cool. And they look okay. Okay, cool. And there you go. Couple of things below. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, we got Dangerous Woman from Ariana Grande in this shipment. Yes. But it's the black variant. Yes. Not the purple swirl that they canceled on everybody. <laughs> I wonder if they were doing that. If they watched all the orders come in, they were going moo ha 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 as they were hitting the cancel button. Do you think they're that mean? I do. Because then it'll come out again like next year and they'll triple the price. And they're like, they'll pay it. So. Here was the thing. Gish, got... you gish. Oh, Smashing Pumpkins gish. <laughs> and Siamese Dreams. Everybody's been asking about Siamese Dreams. <laughs> they want it on vinyl. I know. Maybe we'll get melancholy and sadness next. Yeah, but I mean, even with the CDs sometimes, we get ones that are like completely cracked. We've gotten ones not open and like both the hinge things for the CD broke, the CD cover broken off. Oh yeah. So you know, I got, I got a great story. The people on YouTube will appreciate my story and I haven't told them. Some of you guys who watch regularly from TikTok have heard this story. But my, my favorite Walmart story is, well, first off, I gotta start it like this. Channel 33 RPM, the same day I was going to make my video, turns around and makes another video showing the display of Adele Records and Taylor Swift's, her version of Red. Mm -hmm. Now, I was going to make a video, but I didn't want to seem like I was copying him, but my video was going to be based on how Adele actually has the best-selling album of 2021. In six days. In six, six days. Sixteen days. And I explained it to a lot of the people on TikTok on the last live, but I want to actually get it recorded on YouTube, so I'm going to tell the story really quickly. You want to come over here? Sure, why not? You want to adjust it for me? I'm pretty. Here, I just got to get down to your level. All right. Oh, oh my knee. Oh, I'm your level, baby. You're much lower than I am. Oh. Man. She likes him shorter. No. Anyway. Adele was able to uh, get the number one album in, in six days, days because think about the exclusives that they sold. Walmart has over 5,000 stores in the U.S. I guarantee you they bought 100,000 of that clear variant. If you go into any single Walmart throughout the United States, you're still finding that Adele record. At least 10 of them. Well, they count the scores when... Univer or Sony sells a record to anybody, not when the individual store sells the record. 
our sales don't count. So only Sony sales count for Adele. So the way she was able to do it was she probably sold a hundred thousand variant to Walmart, a 50,000 variant to target another hundred thousand, a hundred thousand copy variant to Amazon. Well, that's 250,000 records right there. Without you guys having to buy a single thing. And that none of them are the black variant, the, the, the normal standard. Mm -hmm. So imagine she sold 250,000 records without doing a single thing in days. Now, as for the press experience being backed up the way that they were, they weren't not from her. They were, but they weren't, they were, they were backed up the month or two before that mm -hmm. three, four months before that they had to have those variants in stock for release day, all of them. And that's why there's so many still at Walmart. They look like trash because mm -hmm. everybody going through Walmart's tearing them up. Mm -hmm. But the other way she did it was what you guys don't know is they cut a deal with all of our independent stores. So that's, there's 1400 stores that participate in record store day. There's probably about 2000 record stores across the country that deal with new records. And what was the deal? It ended up being 20 copies. It was 12 CDs and eight records, or it was the other way around. I can't remember which one it was, but it was eight of one and 12 of the other. So that's 20 copies. So there went probably about another 100,000 copies to the, to the one-stop uh, accounts. So you want to know what happened and, and how she was able to do it? That's how she was able to do it. They pre-planned everything. And that was in 16 days. Oh, many. 16 yes. days. She had the best-selling album of 2021. How ridiculous is that? But if you go into any Walmart to this day, mm -hmm. you will find 10, 15 copies of that Adele 30. So remember you asked with Kanye West, where's my beautiful dark, dark twisted fantasy? Yes. Right here. Oh, I got it on CD? On CD. Very cool. Now, that's how she did it. There was another thing that Taylor Swift did with reputation that's truly amazing. And maybe one day I'll get into that story for you. Okay. Those are right. Those are right. We're good. That is everything. So... Hope you enjoyed my little story. Hope you liked our unboxing. Sorry, it took so long once we got to the end, but I had to count and make sure we had everything we were supposed to have. Yeah, no, we, we really did, because we did get screwed uh, last unboxing. Mm -hmm. Pretty badly, too. It wasn't like a little $100 thing. We, we kept looking for one specific thing, and we still don't have what we're supposed to have. Yeah, it still hasn't come. So. If you got questions, now is the time to ask. We'll take them for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure I answered everything as we were going, but if you have something you're still curious about, throw it out there. You never know, we may answer it. Uh, the repetition story, I'm, 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 I'm going to save that for a little bit, but she did something truly magnificent with mm -hmm. that that really makes me not like Taylor's team. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't really have anything to do with her. I don't know if the fame is still available. Aliens, Kenny, aliens. Uh, favorite arc or kick? One, two, three, four, five. Two. You pick two, I pick three. Boom. Yes, the fame, I believe, is the standard black? Yes. There's no hype sticker on it saying it's anything different. Thank you, Padamil. He said that the fame is now sold out. Okay. They will be shipped out, or we will wrap them up tomorrow mm -hmm. and shipped out the next day because I'm not going in the back and taking out the machine or turning the machines back on. Everything's. So, crazily enough, after we sold out and printed everything and got them all wrapped up for the last ones that we had of the fame, someone emails me after their tracking goes through and says, oh, I ordered this by accident, which is how you have to go through 18 different steps to check out on my website. How could you order it by accident? Can I cancel it? So it's like, okay, sure. And I canceled it. And I put that one back up. And it's sold. And it was already wrapped. So all I had to do was shove a packing slip in there, put the label on it, and it's gone. Yeah, that's 20 copies we just sold online mm -hmm. today. So that was a lot of fun. That it was so easy. There will be more fame, but not tonight. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we were done for the night. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to sell a zillion copies to have to do a zillion cop to come in and do a zillion copies. 
but there will be a restock. Put it on your wish list. If you really want it and you're here now, you will be notified if you turn your notifications on. And you have to do that through the newsletter settings. Yes. That it is okay for them to notify you. But if you if you don't turn that on, you'll never know. Right. So that is your best bet. Do we have Selena Gomez? Revelation, the red yes. one. Yes. Uh, I missed I missed all the questions on uh, YouTube. If you give me my your, your oh yeah yeah, yeah right here there. here you you could help on okay. there. What is your website? Spinningaroundstore.com. No, we have our Harry's house is on black vinyl. Yes, the fame was the standard black pressing. Happens in your side. Yep, that's what happens, James. Sometimes it's two of the same disc. We do have Smashing Pumpkins vinyl, but not what you're looking for, I'm sure. Because it's not Siamese Twin, and it's not Gish, and it's not uh, Melancholy. Marie just asked when we're getting the Planet Her vinyl. Ah! Look at that. Boom! It's right there. We were very shocked when we pulled that out of the box tonight. No, it's just it's just her and I here tonight. Beartooth. Love freaking Beartooth. Below, I would say, was my album of the year for 2021. Below is a manifestation album. If you're if you're into that sort of music. Right now we have 1989 on CD. We do not have it on vinyl. Yes, it is standard black. I don't know the prices. You're going to have to go into the website if you want to know how much something is. Did we get the Steve Vai reissue? I kind of remember um, unboxing something that was Steve Vai. No, we don't have Flower Boy by Tyler, the creator. We have Igor. Shona, little Miss Sassy Press. Look what we got. We have Casey Musgraves vinyl. Hill, Hilly. Or high. Yes, high. it's a gatefold. Indie Sour, we're, we're still waiting. We, we don't know if we're going to get that or not. Yeah. We know we have it on order. We don't know if we're going to get it, excuse me, in time. Because it, it is supposed to be getting released this Friday. But it's going to be tight. I'm, I'm kind of curious if we're going to get it ourselves. But we do have a lot of pre-orders for it already. And we did, we did put them all through to the distributors, so... We have Stranger Things, what is it, two or three? We ordered a whole bunch of them. We still have some. We still have some Stranger Things on vinyl. I can't remember if it's season two or season three or both. I actually like the fame. You know, a lot of people say uh, art pop or all this other stuff. They want to know your face. Yeah, we like poker, poker face. We like paparazzi. And the reason why is because it was right around, it came out right around the time when our kids were young enough to just start getting into music. So they used to do the cutest dances and stuff and with Keith and Tammy and Veronica. We used to have a blast. Yes. To, to Lady Gaga thing. So it was it was awesome. That so, is that is actually our favorite album by Lady Gaga because yeah. it brings back good memories. You know, because once kids get to be teenagers, they're not quite as fun, you know, but when they're little, they're so much fun. You know what it is? They don't share their passions with their parents. Yeah, like they get they get at, more at teenage years. Yeah, you know, like as parents, it's like they they just get more secretive and they're like, get away from me, and they want to do their own thing. But when they're like eight, they love singing in the car with you, and they love dancing around the house, and it's awesome. So it just brings back really good memories. What happens in your side if a vinyl record you ship gets lost in the mail? Do you know how rare that is? Yeah, that's very rare. We open up cases with the post office. Yes. I mean, you're talking, we've been doing this 20-something years. We're not fly-by-night people. I've been doing this since the year 2000, selling online. So, I mean, we didn't have the record store for that long, but we did plenty of things online. And it is pretty darn rare. It does happen. We're not saying it doesn't. We had one uh, a month a month ago. Yeah. Everything leaves here with a delivery confirmation. Um, pretty much we know if you get it or not. Mm -hmm. and, if, and if it still doesn't show up, that's 
not on us. You know, you basically have to file a police report at that point. Queens of the Stone Age songs for the deaf I just got on CD. I don't have it on vinyl right now. We, we've had a store for eight years? Nine. Nine, nine, years. nine years? Yeah, uh, we, missed, we missed it. What? We missed it. Our nine-year anniversary of having a store. Oh, man, we were going to do it. It was in April. Oh, terrible. And we just missed it completely. We don't really sell posters in the store. We do have a few. Not but, many, just a couple. We're not. We, we didn't want to get into that. I do have a lot of special posters, but I don't sell them like that. You know, they're actually very valuable. It was funny because I used to keep a Hendrix poster out in the shop forever. And nobody realized how valuable this Hendrix poster was. Yeah. Nobody had a, nobody cared. Mm -hmm. I had a $20 price tag on this thing. And still nobody wanted to buy it. I, well, I, I sold maybe five or six of mm -hmm. them because I, I, I had bought a whole box of 20 of them. And I got a good deal on them. So I said, ah, you know, we'll just blow them out and they're done. You know, these posters were worth five to eight hundred dollars. They didn't blow out. They didn't blow out at all. five of them. And after three, four years, we were like, never mind. And then I listed one on a certain website and it went boom, gone. And I was like, uh, I could keep going with this, but I don't want to. And I mean, that's why I gave up the posters. I'm not a fan of them. Um, the people on YouTube, if you look back videos, you, you can see how many posters we have. Yeah, we have crazy stuff. Yeah, we, we have we, we good have, posters. We have crazy stuff. Like the... Uh, War is over. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that one that one was a godsend. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we say that's a godsend is it was right in the beginning of the pandemic. And the guy who worked for us listed it on a eBay like years before, or a year before, year right? Before, or a couple months before. And we didn't have money like that when we the just, pandemic we started. just moved the store yeah we just moved from jersey to pennsylvania moved the store so we hadn't been we had 30 days where we weren't selling anything in the store and then we were only open for 31 days before we were shut down for three months so um we had all these posters so many times so he listed this poster for like two thousand dollars and we were like that's not gonna happen well, somebody put a bid on it for $500. And I'm like, Charlie, what do I do? And he's like, well, if they've got $500, they've got $900. <laughs> so I sent him back a... a... I'm going to say my girl thing from for today. Mm -hmm. I just broke this nail. But, but that's your middle finger. I just broke the nail completely. Oh, is it really low? Yeah, it's kind of low. That sucks. I love the pain. But that's what, yeah, so I sent him a, a counter offer for $900, and he took it. And then I'm like, now what do I do with the rest of them? Because it's not like I can list them back real fast, because, you know. Major Beatles collector, past yeah. and. And we got every, just about everything, all the, all the paper stuff. So, yeah, that was kind of ridiculous. Check this uh, out, Mom. That was very helpful. Hold that. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Well, was I joking with you? No, was it your bad finger? No. Okay. Thank goodness. Whew. If you want, you can start packing them up, or do you okay. just want to end all this, and we can just do this quick? No. Oh, oh, yeah, we can end it. You guys want us to end it? Yeah, 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 okay. They all said yes. I've seen yeah, it. They said I mean, we're done. It's, all, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. All right. So everybody's got to, you know, eat, go to bed. So what are you going to do now? So you got to leave this comment and let us know your favorite record in this unboxing list because we had some really awesome stuff. You got to like a big old thumbs up because everyone likes the thumbs up because when you do good, you get good. And then you have to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. We do a video a lot. We'll see you soon. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Or? Or tonight on SpoonerHouseStore.com where the more you buy, the more you save in shipping. What? Goodbye.